What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa with a Mustang doing donuts around a new comp car for the compact that M235 drift car I built based off the Kunos M235. So today we're going to get sideways, have a little fun, test this out here at Irwindale. But before we do that, there's one thing I wanted to bring out to you guys as a bit of a contest. So I will be leaving the links for the Evil Rabbit and the NRG logos as well as the skin layout for the Mustang that is right in front of me. I want to do a livery contest. I want you guys to take those files, make sure you have the NRG and the Evil Rabbit on the car, design a livery for the Mustang, and then I'll showcase them on the channel and we will pick my favorite one or the best looking one to actually be on the car for the car pack when it releases for the comp car. So a livery, little livery contest for you guys, for you guys to get involved with the building of these cars. So like I said, make sure you follow on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you download the stuff for the livery contest. Enough talkie talkie. We're going to get sideways here at Irwindale and test these two cars out. My buddy Nate sitting in that Mustang. We're going to go sideways and see uh, if we can actually run the bank here at Irwindale and not screw up. <laughs> Alright, Irwindale. These cars have about 820 horsepower. Plenty of power to do the bank and stuff like that. Woo! My dog in the background saying that was a great initiation. She's loving Irwindale right now. Quick flick transition. There we go. Do not piff the wall. A little scrape. A little scrapey scrapey on the bumper. She agrees. <laughs> Not bad for the first. Not bad for the first run. Oh, oh. So this N235 has been sitting in my car list for a while and I haven't been able to get it dialed on low power, but it feels very good under, you know, 800 horsepower. So that is why it will be in the car pack. I just went into reverse instead of first. Rip on my transmission. It will be in the comp car pack. I've been going through the comments sections about what cars you guys want to see in the comp pack. A lot of people have been saying M4s, M2s, and uh, R35s and stuff like that. So this M235 will be in the car pack. And I'm probably going to be doing... I just pulled a James Dean. It will probably be doing an R35 and maybe a BRZ because a lot of you have been saying BRZ as well. Or 286. Clutch kicked out way too soon on that. Nate had a solid run, but I kind of biffed it. Irwindale is definitely a tough track if you've ever driven it here on a set of Corsa. It's a fun track, but it's tough. It is one of my options for the Drift Comp uh, Invitational that I want to do, as well as a couple other tracks we'll talk about in later episodes. So, one other thing I wanted to bring attention, that poll I did on a later earlier video about third person versus per first person. Can't speak this morning. Got my words all twisted. So, there was a milestone in that video where a lot of people realized why I drift in third. And a lot of people voted for third person for the videos because you can see more and you can see when people are behind me in the chase and stuff like that. So, there will be a lot of third person content for you guys, but I will be bringing Oculus content in first as well. But apparently, oh, you guys voted. I over angled there. Sorry, Nate. Yeah, you did. You guys voted for more third person, so a lot of people are actually understanding why I drift in third person in the videos. So it's great to see people understanding why. I know VR trumps everything, but you know, VR content, ow! VR content will be coming more and more as well. I gotta try and get a solid chase here, see what we can do. Right, I'll, I'll try and do solidly. Who knows, I might build a wall. Suck up the door a little bit later than I'd like to, but I did not get into that outer clip zone. It's a little about a car length back, but I'm still here. 
<laughs> big thank you. Pretty. Yeah, that right. was good. A big thank you to TUS13 for uh, the audio that is being used for the 7235, the car sound. He did some great work on the sound, and it sounds amazing, so I kept it. And it suits with the car because it was based to be on, I believe, an N55. So, it works. Really, put on. That was a really early initiation. <laughs> oh. Did you biff the wall? Yeah. And then expected to go through. Get stopped by a cone. With those cones, you can go through. <laughs> so back at the uh, start finish line. You can try that one again. <laughs> I'm gonna run this one or two more times in the M235. Then I'm gonna bring the vet out because the vet has been changed from the last video. You guys saw it. It's now based off of Matt Fields' vet. So. I'm gonna bring the vet out and do some tans with the vet as well. Let's do it. No handbrake, no brake initiation there. There we go. Are we gonna get a full pull? We gonna get a full pull. Oh, we got a full pull. That's exciting. Better. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've had a full pull. All right, let's do one more chase with the M235, and then I'll switch it up. Whee! Sideways. This car just shoots fireballs. All right, let's go. Kind of threw it way too hard there, but we're still here. Oh, wall tap. I stayed in, though. We got two full pulls. <laughs> Whole bunch of car scrubbing too. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna switch up cars. Be right Door back. Up. We'll catch you right back when I hit the start finish line. Vet, new vet versus Mustang. We're on the line. Let's go. Those roadie forms go round and round. Lock up of the front wheels. Oh, I would have made that too. Yeah, I know, Kai. I would have made that too. Dog over there saying you would have made that. All right, let's do this. God, this car's so loud. Got that sequential clunk. Dunk. Way off. You can hit that wall. Yep. <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna keep going with Definitely, uh, Irwindale's a tough track if you guys haven't noticed by any chance by now. We're gonna get a couple more runs here before we end this episode off, so make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter for all the information on this competition and everything going down here on the channel. Oh, that's good. Oh, scraping the walls. I came off the bank way too early. I'm gonna hit that wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I straightened out there after that. Ah! 
That run was just totally bad. We're gonna rerun that. I'm just gonna say I didn't see that. If you guys uh, you haven't noticed, not the most perfect runs here at Irwindale, but I am human, so you know, one take, boys. <laughs> Show my mistakes and all. I am only human. And when you're testing cars out for the first time, there's always mistakes to be had. Oh, like that. Trying oh. to go 90 with a wall? <laughs> Apparently, I'm just trying to go way too much angle. Alright, third time's a charm, right? We got this. Third time's a charm. Right, let's go. Came off the bank a little early, way early, but we'll make it run. Ball tap. Whoa! Car tap. Car tap. <laughs> Door tap. Alright. Let's get one more solid chase to end this episode off. So if you guys keep wanting to see more about the competition and the drift invitational the progression of the cars and everything of which cars are going to be on let me know down in the comments as well let's go and like i said make sure you guys if you want to be part of livery contest i'll leave all the information on how to enter your car into the livery contest in the description box below basically download the files make a livery email it to team evil rabbit at gmail.com title livery contest and i will Take a look at them, oh. and pick my favorite and showcase a bunch of the livery designs here on the channel. So, a chance for you guys to get involved, get your livery designs showcased here on the channel as well, and maybe get a chance to have your livery on the car for the comp. So, one more lead run. I know I have this big problem about saying one more, and I'm just like, I just need one more. I just need one more. Cause we gotta end on a high note. So we're gonna try and get a perfect lead here. Oh, that's pretty good on the bank. Oh god. I think that'll do it here for this episode. <laughs> Big thank you to my buddy Nate for coming out. Run that Mustang. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Irwindale, a tough track. But as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And as always, I'll see you guys on the track.